Hello and welcome back to another fabulous vlog here on my channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Books Corner and today I don't oh my god I don't have my phone. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. How am I supposed to listen to my audiobooks? And things when I record them. Okay, well just now realized that um i don't know what today is i'm so sorry i really i don't know what today is um it is whatever day it is before i'm tired i'm very tired i have not been in bed yet it's about to be four in the afternoon if i'm not mistaken oh my body needs that really bad and i have some things to talk about um if you've never been here before i post book videos and stuff um some major things have happened our camera got upgraded so i guess that's cool i am now using my actual phone which i don't ever use i had a i had my old phone which was a um iphone 6s and my my marley who is our dog my dad's dog bit through his phone and so now he has my phone he has that phone and it was, and that's all complicated, but it's fine. So now I'm using this. Um, the problem with this is I've just never been able to get like the files from this onto my PC. So we're going to figure that out today at some point. I have some unboxings to do and also just like some, some things. What am I reading? Well, it's a part of the unboxing, so I'll talk about it. Um, I don't really have a physical book at the moment because the goal is to finish my novel and then we're going to be reading. Um, we're reading like the last like two weeks of um trying to fit 30 books in in two weeks it's gonna be a fun time you should stick around we're still gonna try a daily vlog now i'm home i'm not planning on going anywhere so i missed a whole week of daily vlogging very sorry for that i had actual footage by the way of not so much of me going but of me um before i went and i lost all of it and a bunch of other stuff that i lost because of this whole murder thing but i have my first package here um which is from Kay Weismer. Her, uh, one of her books is over there. But her other book, so it's kind of poison, is sitting over there. I'm very, very excited for this. If you did not know, like, super duper excited. Oh my god. Well, Katie, if you're watching this, hi. Um, the packaging worked really nicely, so good for you. And I, I realized, like, if I don't have a lot of footage for today, we'll have the unboxing, you know? And I'll come in and do an outro before I upload it. Oh my god, there! Okay, so, like, that's the inside. No one cares. This is the actual book. She put a little star. So cute. Uh, I don't want to rip it. Okay, well, we're, we're saying fuck it, right? You guys like watching people actually unboxing for you. Oh my god, I've not actually seen it in person. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so big too. So much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, um, it's for Poems for the End of the World. Which, compared to her first collection, which I am going to eventually reorder uh, so I can get a signed copy of. It's a little bit, I like, it's a little bit thinner. Also, I know she changed dimensions and stuff, and so it's it's also just, like, a little bit, um, it's a little bit thinner, and it's a, like, you know what I mean. Also, this is not the copy that would be the signed copy, which is really, really cool, really interesting. So, um, uh, I've been so kind of curious to see what it said. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Thank you so much. I'm not going to read it to you because it's like personalized and stuff. But also came with another bookmark. I already have one bookmark. So I, I this is cool. Um, and stuff. I already have one um, because of the sweetest, uh, not sweetest guy poison. The anti-virginity pack. I cannot wait for her next one, which I know she's writing. Or she's, she's playing on writing. And then she's also writing another poetry collection. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, wow. I've not seen the actual copy of it because I've only been reading it on my phone. Love it. 
it's beautiful. You did such a great job. Thank you so much, Katie. Oh, it's so cool. So, so cool. I'm gonna have to really probably. I've been trying, I've been pushing off buying a vlog camera and now I have a feeling I'm, who knows. Oh my God, I'm opening this without even telling you what I'm opening. Well, that's rude. All right. What am I opening? I opened my book, um, my book of the month box for October. It came while I was gone. Both of these things arrived on my Tuesday of last week. All right, so we have my current read, which is on top, and then oh no, I did order that. Do we have my two star? Okay, yeah, I guess I'll get to see it. <laughs> so we have my current read, which is *The Invisible Life of Addie Larue* by B.A. Shab. I This is the audiobook I decided to pick up. My audiobook for oh. What is that called? City of uh, Lost Souls, I want to say. The final book in the Mortal Instruments, like the third trilogy. Um, it's Lone went back, and so I get back in two weeks, and so we have two weeks to read as many other books as possible. And so reading this, there's a few others um, I want to read. Oh, I, there's a few others, but I decided to pick this up. I got it from Audible, actually. Um, I used my credit on it because I was like, it's like 17 hours long. I want to listen to it on 2.5 speed. And so that's my prerogative. I'm really tired. It looks so cute. I'm loving it so far. I'm like 10 pages in. Don't judge me. Um, it's also read by the same girl who did um, Seven, Husbands, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And if you were around when I read that for the second time, I absolutely love the narrator. Such a great voice. So I'm really, really excited she's narrating this because one, it already makes me feel comfortable and at home, but also makes me really excited because I love the narrator. This is such a long opening clip. I'm so sorry. I'm tired, so I'm not gonna edit it. I can already tell you. And then I also have One by One by Ruth Ware, which this, oh my God, I didn't even explain what any of these books are. I am so sorry to the authors who I'm, no spots, but uh, this is a poetry collection um, about a lot of things. Um, about death, it's about learning to love yourself, it's about overcoming grief, overcoming pain. Um, yeah, I'll just read the back. If you are underwhelmed by me, please just let me go. Um, I also have two videos talking about this. I have a non spoiler review, and then I also have a spoiler with read together review. So that's for all Katie's videos. They're all linked down below. But anyway, we have The Invisible Life of Adelaide Rue by V.A. Slob. <laughs> v.A. Slob? I ignore me. Um, a, a Life No One Remember, A Story No One Will Ever Forget. Is it pretty cute? Yeah, let's see. Oh my god, I'm just ruining every dust jacket I ever touch. That's kind of sad. Because <laughs> it's the book of the month version of it. It's not actually like, you know. So that's kind of sad. Oh! Oh, that's nowhere near. I thought the pages were going to be so much shorter. Um, this follows a girl, if I'm correct, um, who sells her soul to the devil to get out of a sticky situation. I think it might be a marriage or something in the 1800s. Um, and the curse that is put upon her is that anybody who sees her forgets her forever. And she's immortal. And so it's like the invisible wife, Valerie Rue. If you guys do not know, my favorite stories of all time are stories that take place over the cross of a whole person's lifetime. So I have a feeling this is going to be like a five out of five stars. One by one takes place on a resort um, and people get killed off because of reasons. It also follows Scoop, which is this like app. I hate it. It was like a two, two out of five stars. I got it for my wrap up. I could have got it from the library. Uh. Okay, so I just got done filming a video where we are talking about... Um, can't NaNoWriMo because it, it's changed my idea for NaNoWriMo has changed we're moving back into an old project while making it just more fleshed out and bigger so now we're going to move back over here to record or eventually to record my church uh my um immortal devices things I'm very curious to see I might, I might lay down and go to sleep and then wake up and then do it when I wake up. I do have to work tomorrow at 9 30. So we'll see. Oh, okay. Well, keep going with that. You know, I'll just stick around. Hey, Philippe, from now on, you see this guy? You throw him out.
You looking at yourself? All right, so I started the vlog, um, turning back on my PC because, like I said, I have work to do, and then we're gonna we're gonna do that work. Yep, that's that's that. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Um, if I get any videos uploaded or whatever, um, we'll have that. If I work on the book, we will do a time lapse. If I um, Work on my bullet journal. We'll do a time lapse. So yeah. Hello guys, welcome to the next day. The outro to this vlog. I just woke up. Um, I know we didn't really do anything super duper fun and stuff. Um, I've just been really really tired, and I've been trying to just get caught up on work, and so it's just been more busier than normal. But um, coming up on Thursday, we should have a lot more time to do some more fun things, but yeah. So I read the first 115 pages of The Invisible Life of Ayo Rue yesterday. I'm really, really liking the book. It's very, very fun. And there will be a whole video discussing the novel in itself. Um, and yeah, that's everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big fat thumbs If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big, big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And I'll see you all next time for another beautiful video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.